Hi and welcome to our lesson on comparing unit fractions. Here we will make a fraction wall. Here is one hole. We can take another hole and divide it into two. We now have two halves. One, two. We take another hole and divide it into three. We have one, two, three thirds. We can divide a hole into four equal parts. We have one, two, three, four, four quarters, five equal parts. This gives us one, two, three, four, five fifths. Dividing into six equal parts, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sixths. And seven equal parts, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sevenths. This fraction wall shows us the size of each fraction. We have one half, one third, one quarter, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh. Looking at the size of these fractions, one half is bigger than one third, which is bigger than one quarter, which is bigger than one fifth, which is bigger than one sixth, which is bigger than one seventh, and so on. We can see that the more parts that we have divided into, the smaller the fraction. Dividing one whole into more parts makes smaller fractions. We can use this to compare unit fractions. Unit fractions are fractions that have one as their numerator, which means a one on top of the fraction. Here we have one half and one third. We have one whole divided by two. This is the size of one half. One third means one whole divided by three. One half is bigger in size than one third. One half is greater than one third. This is because sharing into three parts gives less than sharing into two parts. We can write one half is greater than one third. The greater than sign points to the smaller fraction. It opens towards the largest fraction. Here we have one third compared to one quarter. One whole divided by three and one whole divided by four. One third is bigger than one quarter. One third is a bigger fraction than one quarter. This is because four is bigger than three. We say that one third is greater than one quarter. The greater than sign points to the smaller fraction. We can see that the smaller fraction has the bigger number on the bottom as its denominator. One third is bigger than one quarter because three is less than four and we have divided into fewer parts. Here we have one seventh compared to one quarter. One whole divided by seven and one whole divided by four. One seventh is smaller in size than one quarter. One seventh is less than one quarter. The less than sign points to the smaller fraction. One seventh is less than one quarter because seven is bigger than four. We have divided by a bigger number to leave a smaller fraction. We will put the following fractions in order from smallest to largest. 
we write the smallest fraction first. Since they all have a numerator on top of 1, the smallest fraction will have the biggest denominator on the bottom. 6 is the largest denominator, so 1 sixth is the smallest fraction. The next biggest denominator is 5, so 1 fifth is the next smallest. Then we have 1 third and 1 half. These fractions are arranged from smallest to largest. We will now put these fractions in order from smallest to largest. We look for the biggest denominators first. We have 1 tenth, 1 eighth, 1 quarter, 1 third. 1 tenth is smallest, 1 third is largest. Here are some questions for you to try. Arrange these fractions from smallest to largest. Pause the video and have a go. Question 1. We have 1 seventh, 1 quarter, 1 third, 1 half. 1 seventh is smallest, 1 half is largest. Question 2. We have 1 twelfth, 1 ninth, 1 eighth, 1 half. 1 twelfth is smallest, 1 half is largest. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.